The Round Rocks Parks and Rec Department is creating a circular area for the merry-go-round. They have enough pavers to have a circumference of 75 feet. After creating the edge, they will cover the ground in mulch. Approximately how many square feet of mulch will be needed to cover the merry-go-round area? All right. So we start with, they say they have a nerve for a circumference of 75 feet. So here's my area, and I know the circumference is that outer edge, and it's 75 feet. After creating the edge, they're going to cover the ground in mulch. So they're going to cover all of this in with mulch. That's my mulch. Okay. Approximately how many square feet of mulch will be needed to cover the merry-go-round area? So they want to know how much we're going to need for here, and that's area. So that's what I'm looking for, the area. Okay. And they gave me circumference. Right. And it says approximately. So I'm going to take that to mean that pi is just equal to three. We're not even gonna worry about the 3.14. All right, so I know that circumference is 75 feet. And I know from looking at my star chart that the circumference is pi times diameter, okay? All right, so circumference is pi times diameter. If I know the circumference is 75, and I can say that pi is three, I know that three times some number I don't know, the diameter, is equal to 75. So I can divide both sides by three. That goes away. And I'm left with just diameter. 75 divided by three. Let's think about that, 75, 75 cents. Ooh, 75 cents is three quarters. 75 divided by three is basically one quarter, which is 25 cents. So my diameter is 25. Going all the way across, my diameter is 25. All right? But beyond that, for area, area is pi radius squared, which is also the same for pi times radius times radius. Okay? Well, I have diameter and I need radius. And if I think about what we learned, the diameter goes all the way across. The radius just goes from here to the center. So it's half the diameter. So if I do 25 divided by 2, that's going to give me the radius. 25 divided by 2. Hmm. Well, I know 24 divided by 2 is 12. Okay. That's 12. And that leaves me with $1 left. And $1 cut in half is 50 cents. So 12.5 is going to be my radius. So we're going to come over here approximately again. So again, pi is 3 times 12.5 times 12.5. All right. I know that looks kind of scary, but we're going to do it. All right. So we're going to come over here, 12.5, 12.5. Okay. All right. So, take them just one step at a time. 5 times 5 is 25, right? My 5 carry my 2. 2 times 5 is 10, plus 2 is 12. 1 times 5 is 5. All right. So, now I have to line it up again. So, I was doing here, so I started here. Now, I'm going to go under here, so I have to start here. So, I'm going to draw my placeholder. 5 times 2 is 10, carry my 1. 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5. 1 times 2 is 2. Okay? All right, now I'm going to go under the 1, so i got to start here. So I need two placeholders, and this is easy. This is just 125 times 1, so 5, 2, 1. All right, so now we add 5, 2 plus 0 is 0 is 2, 5 plus 5 is 10, plus 5 more is 15, carry my 1, 2 times 2 is, sorry, 2 plus 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5, and 1, okay? And I have one, two numbers behind the decimal, so two numbers behind the decimal, so 155.25. Now I have to multiply that by 3. So I'm just going to add it on down here. 5 times 3 is 15, carry my 1. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7. 5 times 3 is 15, carry my 1. 5 times 3 is 15, plus 1 is 16. 1 times 3 is 3. I have two numbers behind the decimal, so two numbers behind the decimal here, 365.75. So 
So my answer is 365.75 feet squared.